All right, uh, back on this today, and uh, um, I'm going to try to get this done, uh, or at least get a tail and mane on them. Uh, not going to really worry about too much else because, quite honestly, uh, I don't have time. I'm going to take it to the foundry tomorrow, and uh, I, when I return uh, the bronze of uh, wolf robe uh, to the foundry, I photographed it over the weekend, and. Um, these are the photographs that I took of it. I'm also expecting some new tools from uh, UPS. Not a, I mean tool, not tools. Um, my wire tools are pretty well worn out. All right, what I'm going to do one. first and, uh, is make an armature for the tail. I just put it in the mail. Because anyway. I'm going to have, uh, right, I'm babbling now, the uh, hair of the tail. Let's get started. All right, out. what I'm going to do first is make an armature for the tail. It needs something to keep it. So I'm going to have uh, the uh, hair of the tail and make flying out in the wind here. here. Out of copper, at least. Tree. It needs something to keep it from and, uh, falling down. And so, uh, ramming it into the back of the horse. Now, I'm not going to overdo the uh, tail right now. I just basically want to get one on here so that they know at the foundry what I'm thinking of doing. And uh, that's all I'm going to do. I don't want to make the tail too elaborate. Because uh, if I do, then of course we cut more cost in reproducing it. So you still get detail in it, but you try to keep it at bare minimum and yet make it look like it isn't at bare minimum. That's the beauty of sculpting. All right, what I'm thinking of doing is uh, to give it some added support is to have some sagebrush brush on the uh, thing. That, that gives me kind of like a trunk. Um, sagebrush can grow to be quite tall. It can, it can be as tall as uh, four feet or five feet. Uh, pull itself up on two small legs. And it needs uh, some added support, so. Yeah, that will look good from this angle. Okay. All right, I'm going to do his ears. And I'm not going to go into great detail on them because I'm just throwing them on so that the uh, 
Foundry knows what's going on. I'm uh, <clears throat> uh, planning to put more detail on the horse, and that's the reason why I'm not really doing anything permanent right now. And I just uh, make a little cone shape, and then I just use my thumb to shape the uh, ear. And I'm going to have his ears back. I'm starting the mane at the back of the neck or the bottom part of the neck because I want to layer it all the way up to the uh, ears. I'm giving him an Indian bridle, which is a, a rope through his mouth, looped around his jaw, lower jaw, and uh, and would come up underneath there and uh, his hand right there. Now, the rope that I'm putting on here is a temporary rope. It would not be a rope that uh, would be cast. It's one that would be made of twisted wire, bronze wire, to make it look like a uh, rope and then they would weld that on or solder it on after the bronze is uh, put together and before they color it All right, I think that's going to be about it uh, for now. Um, I just wanted to get it ready to go to the foundry tomorrow and uh, let them see what it's going to look like. I don't want to go into great detail because it's uh, just I just got probably about another week, maybe two weeks, to work on this, and uh, it'll be done. So that's as far as I'm going to get today. I still got his foot to do. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, I was going to do leggings. Well, I'll do the leggings later. I'll tell them that, that about that. All right, uh, you guys have a great night.